Hello everyone, welcome to MESS e-learning channel. In this video, we are going to see the next method of the numerical differentiation, which is known as the Runge Kutta method of fourth order. The formulation for this method is as follows. In this method also dy by dx, we will consider it as a f of xy. As like the previous method, we will have the initial conditions which are denoted by x0 and y0. Here we have to find out the four constants k1, k2, k3 and k4 with these formulas k1 is equal to h into f of x0 y0, k2 is equal to h into f of x0 plus h by 2, y0 plus k1 by 2, k3 is equal to h into f of x0 plus h by 2, y0 plus k2 by 2, k4 is equal to h into f of x0 plus h, y0 plus k3 and these four constants we will use it to find out k as 1 by 6 k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4 and with the help of k we can get y equal to y0 plus k. So these are the formulas for the Runge Kutta method of the fourth order. Let us apply this method in this example. So the question is solve dy by dx equal to 3x plus y square with x0 equal to 1 y0 equal to 1.2 by Runge Kutta method of fourth order at x equal to 1.1. So let us start. As we know that dy by dx, we always take it as f of xy. It is 3x plus y square. Here the initial conditions are given x0 as 1, y0 as 1.2. Now we will discuss the number of steps required in this example. So if you will see the initial value of x is 1 and we want to evaluate, we want to solve this example, this differential equation at x equal to 1.1. So in this Runge Kutta method, the step size is not given. So we will consider the step size. We know that x1 we always take it as x0 plus h. Now this value x equal to 1.1, if you will take it as x1, so 1.1 equal to x0 is 1 plus h and this gives you h is equal to 0.1. So we can take h as a 0.1 and if h will be 0.1, obviously the number of steps required in this example will be 1 because we want to find out y at x equal to 1.1 and our initial value of x is 1 and we are considering h as 0.1. So with the step size of 1 we can reach the value of y at x equal to 1.1 okay. So let us start with this to find out these values. So k1 is equal to h into f of x0 y0 h is 0.1 substitute all these values. Now f of x0, y0, we know that f of xy is 3x plus y square. So here it is 3x0 plus y0 square. So substitute x0 and y0, 0 0.1, 3 into x0 is 1 plus y0 is 1.2. So if you will calculate this expression, you will get the value as 0.444. So k1 we have got it now as 0.444, use it to calculate k2. So k2 is, we know the formula, it is h into f of x0 plus h by 2, y0 plus k1 by 2. f of xy is 3x plus y square. So x0 plus h by 2 is x here and y0 plus k1 by 2 is y. So at this place you substitute it. So it is h is 0.1 into 3 into x, it is 3x, so it is x0, it is 1 plus 0.1 by 2 plus, now we have y square, it means y0 plus k1 by 2 the whole square, y0 is 1.2 plus k1 is 0.444 upon 2 the whole square. Let us calculate this expression, you will get the answer of k2 as 0.5172. Now find out k3. k3 is equal to the formula is h into f of x0 plus h by 2, y0 plus k2 by 2. Substitute the values. h is 0.1. Again f of xy is 3x plus y square. Now x is x0 plus h by 2, 
and y is y0 plus k2 by 2. So, substitute in this expression. So, x0 3 into x0 plus h by 2. It is 1 plus 0.1 by 2 plus y0 is 1.2 plus k2 is 0.5172 upon 2 the whole square. So, calculate this value. So, the value of k2 is 0.52775. Now, this is the value of k3 which we have got. In the numerical methods, we have to take our answer up to 4 decimal places. If your fifth decimal is 5 or more than 5, round of it. So, previous decimal you can increase it by 1. So, you can write this as 0.5278. So, the value of k3 we got it as 0.5278. Now, let us find out the next constant k4. The formula is h into f of x0 plus h y0 plus k3. Substitute the values, h is 0.1. Now, in this k4 constant, x is our x0 plus h and y0 is y0 plus k3. So, substitute over here, f of x y 3 x plus y square. So, it is 3 into x0 plus h. x0 is 1 plus 0.1 plus y square. y square is y0 plus k3. y0 is 1.2 plus k3 is 0.5278 whole square. So, if we will calculate this expression, we will get the value of k4 as 0.6285. So, we have got now all the four constants k1, k2, this is our k1, this is k2, this is k3 and this is k4. So, with the help of these four constants, we can get now k as 1 by 6, k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4. So, 1 by 6, k1 is 0 0.444 plus 2 into k2 is 0 0.5172 plus 2 into k3 is 0 0.5278 plus k4 0 0.6285. So, after the calculation of this expression, we will get the value of k as 0 0.5271. And now, we can get the value of y as y0 plus k. y0 is 1.2 plus 0 0.5271 and this gives the value as 1.7271. So, this is the value of y at x equal to 1.1. So, in this way, we can apply runge kutta method to solve our first degree first order differential equation, which is uh, runge kutta method of fourth order. Now, this was the example of only one iteration because here x0 is 1 and we have taken h as 0 0.1. In the next lecture, we will see the example where we have to apply two iterations by the same method. Thank you.